keep California cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Sadie practices over the haunches with an ATV mechanical cow simulator. Pulling slack. And Susie's coming my way because she feels the pressure behind her horns. We begin the task of fitting Sir Singles and Britchen on Susie and Sela. Well, today is our first fitting session. We're trying to get Britchen and Sir Singles to fit on Susie. The usual Britchen and Sir Single that I used to use on Susie, I'm sure will fit Sela, her heifer. So I'm using just some um, tack that's too small for the horses. It's actually tack that I got from a barn that went out of business a few years ago. You see there's a leather britchin. Susie wasn't happy about us putting it on her hips but we did it and there it is. We just think we have to make some more holes maybe even cut off some pieces of leather that are too long. Get that britchin a little higher up. See it's too low on her legs, but I think that if we make more holes and adjust buckles, that that's going to be a leather britchin for Heifer Susie. And we have two nylon sur singles that we've used for the horses and we don't need them right now. We're going to do what we can to fit them to both Susie and Sela uh, so that the britchin that we use can connect to something. Then we'll have rings to use to keep the chains um, that go from the double yoke to the single tree in the back to keep those chains out from under their legs. Well, that's the plan. We're going to show you every step of the way, and this is just the first tack fitting step. Well, we have found a nylon sur single with a nylon cinch strap that is going to work. You can see that we uh, are going to be shortening, yes, the strap, maybe even taking that off and somehow connecting with that ring, you see, to the ring of the sur single. And there we go for Mommy Susie. See, but she still, she still needs desensitization. She always had when it comes to the britchin. She'll get better though. She did get better. It's just been a while. We're going to get this all fitted for Susie. Then we're going to take what we used to use for Susie, which is sitting there on that saddle rack, and get to Sela better desensitized. She's already had it on, but that was a few months ago. We're going to do it individually. Then we're going to do it in pairs. And we put Sela behind a fence where she grazes uh, just to uh, not have to deal with her while we're dealing with Susie at this moment. And Sela has not moved from that spot. She's chewing her cud, but she wants to be close to her mom. She wants to watch what's happening. Who knows how much she's thinking about what's happening. But what we're going to do, as I said, is work with them individually, comfortably, apart and then work with them in pairs comfortably together and then they're going to have to work for us in pairs safely with our double yoke, our Britch and Sir single and um, single tree behind them. That's the plan. We'll show you every step of the way. 
We removed the leather pieces, which were too long for Susie's back length, and then added a shorter leather piece with a crouper from leftover tack stored in the horse tack room. With Susie, we've got her sir single on. Katie is over there at the cart tack room making some extra holes in the britchet. And my handyman and I took a piece off that was on the britchet that was much too long and put a shorter piece on, which I happen to have in my tack room. While I'm waiting for the holes to be made so we can put the britchin back on Susie, and by the way, she's not crazy about britchin, so we're going to have to desensitize her. I'm going to let you watch me work with her. You know, oxen, when working in pairs, and even when working singly, very seldom have a lead line on. They are simply voice and, um, and stick cue command responsive. So I'm taking my lunge line here, which is an arm extension, with a lead line while I'm waiting. I'm just giving Susie the opportunity to pay attention to me, to join up with me, to do a G, a ha, a step up, a whoa. And I'm going to let you watch how she's doing today. And it's a cold day, but it's a spring day in 2011. And she's done this for a couple years, but it's been a while since she's done it alone um, with this kind of drill. So we're giving her repetition and we're letting you watch. Now you probably won't be able to hear me because I still don't have my mics fixed, but I'm going to speak loudly and close to the camera if I have something to say. Step up, ha, ha, good girl. Ha, step up, ha, ha. I just asked her for a ha, uh, with, uh, coupled with a step up, which means I want her to move. And at first she didn't move, so I just tapped her with my arm extension. Now, ha means to her left. Now I'm going to do a step up G and see if she's catching on again. If not, I'll give her however many cues I need to get her to move. But notice that so far the lead line is very lax. There is uh, no need to pull her around. Not Susie. Susie's the mom. Step up G. Step up G. Whoa. Look at that stop. That was a beautiful stop. Let's see if I can get it back. Susie, back. 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 Back, 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 whoa. Not quite understanding, it wasn't a straight back. I'm gonna haw her, haw, haw, whoa. I'm gonna try a visual block. Back, 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 whoa. Much better, the visual cue was much more effective for Heifer Susie, step up, step up. Now I want her to come forward toward me. And look at, she's making me do a taut lead line. So I'm not gonna just continue to apply pressure because the more I pull, the more she'll pull back. I'm gonna ask her in other ways. Step up, there, little tug, good, she understood. Step up, step up. Very nice, Susie. Now, I'm going to see if she'll just do a join up with me. The lead line is going to be very uh, lax. I'm going to just have it on in case I need it. Step up G. Step up G. Step up Ha. Step up Ha. Step up, step up, good, good. Now I'm gonna ask with a visual cue to have her back again. Back, 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 back. That was beautiful. The next step, therefore, 
is to get that britching on. So I'll turn off the camera for now. And we're probably almost ready with our holes to make it shorter. The way it was presently configured, it went too far down on the back legs. Are you ready, Katie? Um, I think we're gonna have to cut the leather up. Oh, we may have to cut some leather. So off goes the camera and we'll tell you what happened. Okay, with camera off, I've been practicing the step up, step up G, step up ha, and the back. The whoa, she's got down pretty good. The back, I have to be real careful just to do a visual block, and I very clearly ask for back, and she's pretty good about going back straight. Okay, we've got the rich and ready now, but she's still, yeah, she's still hard to tack up with the britchet. She'll get better because a few years ago when we did this she did get better now. Starting to rain. So I'm gonna have to go and get an umbrella pretty soon if the raindrops increase in numbers. But right now we're just giving Susie a chance to can you hold the lead line? Yeah, let me get the umbrella and you just hold the lead line. Let her investigate. Okay, so far Katie's doing okay. I brought the umbrella, which I'll put over the camera if it continues to rain. But you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So far she seems to be, Susie seems to be allowing Katie to put the britchin on her hips. We will see whether we've made enough holes and cut enough slits and so forth. And I'm just going to move this camera around here so we can see past Katie. Um, do you want to try and put the crouper on while I hold her? She wouldn't let me do it. Yes, either. okay, now uh, Katie wants me to hold Susie. No, yeah, Katie's going to hold Susie while I try to put the crouper under her tail. Now right now the britchin is over her tail. So let's see if I can get her to lift her tail. Let me put the crouper on under and do all of this before the rain increases. It's all right, suits. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. See, she doesn't trust me like she trusts you. She knows I'm here for a reason. It's all right. It's all right, suits. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. They sure don't want us to handle them on their backs. Okay. Reason being, you know, if there's a predator, that's where they'll go. They'll jump on their backs, avoid the horns, which are the defense for these animals. It's either flea or horns. Okay, that tail is almost out of there. Let's see if I can do it. I wish we had a camera operator today, but we don't. Can you pull that tail out? Good. Nice. Good. Good. It's all right. It's all right, Toots. It's all right. Okay, it's, it's almost done. I think you're going to be able to... I grant you we're being kind of sneaky right now. Soon it will be... I think you're going to be able to pull that... You see the tail, I put the end of the tail in there. All you gotta do is pull that crouper down a little bit. Ah, uh, look at that resistance. Yes, and we've got carrots here. And if Susie was really, really worried, she wouldn't be eating carrots. We know that about Susie. Almost on completely. 
a little bit more. Okay, let me see. If you can't get it up, I'll help you. No, now, there we go. But still a little bit too long? No, I think it's okay. We'll see, we may want to shorten that space between the tail and the back of the britchen. No, we've got it. We've got a fit now. We've got a tack fit. We should find out a way to keep it. Absolutely, we're going to figure out how to keep that britchen up when we don't have the chains, you know, normally the chains from the single tree and whatever we're pulling will go through there. Uh, but for now, we could just use a nylon uh, dog collar or something like that, you see, to keep that britchen flat against her hips. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a minute and see if I can find a convenient one and then turn the camera back on. Well, see how nice Susie is being for us. We're just adjusting this britchen. We used a chain on this side, which we can make shorter, just to keep the britchen straps up on the side of her body. There, you used, we used a dog collar, and we are just gonna try to be consistent in the materials. We were trying to get the proper length for now, and then maybe just do chain on both sides, cut the chain, have the same class, have them be the same length, the same weight. And here we go. We now have Britchen on Susie with Sir Single on Susie with Crooper on Susie. And I've already showed you how we're asking her to step up G and Ha and back. So we're going to do a whole lot more of all of this with her tack on with Susie off camera. But for now, we're going to go get Sela and see what we're in for there. Well, here is Sela. It's time to fit her tack on her again. We fitted on her about six weeks ago. We're going to show you how hard it is uh, at this time compared to how easy it's going to be in the near future with repetition. So, again, we don't have a camera operator, so I'm just going to go and try to help Katie and keep the uh, proper image in the camera. Let me hold that. Okay. So far, so good. Notice we had to put three knots in our cinch, and as she grows, we'll take the knots out. It's a string cotton cinch. This is a biothane britchet, which was made for my zebus. We know it will fit her. We can make more holes as necessary. We have some dog collars and clasps to help us easily attach it and, and unattach it. Little, still a little loose, huh? Yeah. It's still a little loose on her, but we're not going to do any serious pulling yet. Good girl. Good girl, Sheila. Good girl. Good girl, Sheila. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh -uh. Oh boy, you better hold, and I'll try. <laughs> We make sure we're still in the camera's view. I might even ask a helper here to follow us because she's going to dance around. So I'll stop the camera. For All right, now we have a camera operator because I have a feeling Sila's going to dance around here. We're just going to, we can't remove the pressure. Let her get away with it, otherwise she'll learn the wrong answer. So Katie's trying to put her knee and her thigh at Sila's shoulder. 
I'm going to let her feel it a oh, little sorry. bit. Sorry. See how she wants to go? Probably me. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right. Now it's on her back and her back is shivering. And look at she's going to pee now. Maybe even poo. They get stressed. Okay. They do kick, not as readily as horses, so I'm staying out of strike zone. Uh oh, she is she kicked. stuck in it? No, she just kicked okay. It I don't want her back foot to get stuck in any of these loops. What I want to do, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these loops. I'll show you on the other side how I do it. I don't want any loops. Can you hold that? Yeah. I don't want any loops that they can kick up into. Then they get hung up in the loops and they get really afraid that they've been grabbed by something dangerous. So I'm taking this loop for now and I'm just putting it up here. There, there, you see she kicked up again. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, okay, I'm going to take that dog collar off too for now because it's a potential hazard. I've seen such bad wrecks, not been involved in too many of them, but I've seen them that I think all the time about safety is number one. Just be patient. Uh, now she's pooping, but at least it's not diarrhea. Dog collars are off, so she can't get hung up in them. We'll use them again when we get all hitched. Okay, what's my objective today? I always have sub-objectives. I say, okay, if today I can do this, I'm going to call it my note of resolution. If I can get this back of the britchen strap down and get her tail over the crouper, even if I don't buckle the crouper, I'll be happy. Let's see if we can do it. Again, we're keeping her busy, giving her good feelings. Got rid of all the loops that she might step in and get hung up in. This is going to be the hard part. Getting this over her tail and then getting her tail up over it. It'll get easier, you'll see, we'll show you. Thank goodness we have a camera operator to show you what it takes. Okay. It's all right. It's a little, yeah, it's falling again. We have to be careful. These loops don't fall down. This one is a little too long, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me, uh, let me take it here. It's all right. Good. I'm going to go through this ring if it, everything will fit. It does. Keep in mind that I need, yeah, I need to somehow make this strap shorter. Oh, we can do that easily with holes. Okay, so for now I'm just connecting to another ring on the side of the sur single. Tap fitting sometimes takes one, two, three sessions because it's so important. It's all right, Sila. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. She doesn't want me to touch her back there. It's all right, Sila. It's all right. Slide it down, she's gonna move. Good, good. I tried to bring the tail up, she resisted. Not as strong as a horse's tail, but definitely strong enough to resist. There you go, <laughs> almost there, almost there. This looks like a hassle, doesn't it? But let me tell you, I'm in the, uh, the Zebu Yahoo group, and I hear horrible stories about people trying to shock their animals into obedience. Like to get a, a zebu in a trailer, that's not the way I want to do things. I'm using these natural techniques of 
deal with the way they're thinking. Do it in small steps, do it with repetition, and then eventually they're not scared. And they'll accommodate because they're willing to do what you want as long as they're not scared to do what you tell them you want. Now we've got the britchen under her tail. I'd like to get the crouper under her tail, but not buckle it. Remember, that's my objective for now. It's all right, Sila. I'm going to pull the britchen down a little bit more. OK, now. OK, I expected her to do everything she's doing. There. Okay. Now the britchen is on the crouper. Could be buckled, but I'm not going to right now. I don't want to do it all at once. You see the crouper is applying pressure under her tail. And she's pooping right now, but still it's not scours. So that's what I think is going to be my note of resolution. She's standing still. We've got this tack on her. We know what we have to do to better fit it for next time. We did it with Susie earlier in today's session, and we'll keep doing it off camera with both of them until it's easy to do. Uh, and then we'll work on getting them to move with it on until it's easy to do. And then we'll put the double yoke on and say, you guys, please do it together. And that's all for today. After working with leading Susie and Sela individually with their tack on, we will lead them together with their double yoke on. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. Rusty and Susie. Heifer Calf Sela. For more information, www.cowgirlchannel.com.